Hey guys, Red Champ here. I'm going to go into detail over my sniper build that I've been using in the 3v3 ESHL finals. So this is my sturdy speed sniper. I've got a video on it up above on the channel. Uh, I've been alternating between this build and one other. So let's get into the second build. So this build is 511-190 with booming hits and power wrister that allows us to have 81 body checking and 92 wrist shot power. I play center, so I only get 79 deking, though I'd like to have a lot more. If I was to change this position to be on the wing, I would max that out, put on ankle breaker, and go from there. So I have one timer for the easy goals, elite edges to keep my speed, and close quarters because it is super strong up close. Now what you'll see is 84 acceleration, 84 agility, and while that is fairly low, uh, I watched a video on a guy who did some testing and basically acceleration is almost equivalent to agility. Agility is a little bit more, but when pairing both of them together, I'm able to lower my acceleration down a bit and still be relatively fast at my top speed of 90. With Elite Edges, it helps and coincides with it so that you're able to keep your speed on the turns. And yeah, it's more than it actually looks like, so give it a test for yourself and give me some feedback on it. I find it's really effective. I'm not the fastest person on the ice, but I can definitely skate past people. So this next little bit here, if you're not a fan of the one-timer, don't know why you wouldn't be, but you can swap out close quarters for ankle breaker and then put your zone ability as close quarters. And then if you were on the wing, you can max out your deking at 88 and have a wicked shot in close while having the hands to be able to pull the goalie over. I recommend taking away Power Rister to slot in the plus 4 deking to reach the maximum of 88. Now I'm going to show you some of the build in action here. I like to play a hard hitting heavy forecheck game and I like to capitalize on the chances I have so that's why I play sniper so that if I'm open in the slot I can hit the easy goals. So this build keeps a high shot so that when you're playing against human goalies, you can snipe it on them even if they're in position. That's why we have 92 wrist here. I don't care if you're in the middle of the fucking net. <laughs> Obviously, human goalies are fairly easy to score on on themselves. But when you're playing the computer, having the extra bonus in your shot really helps out anyways. Uh, you're going to find that the one-timers in these clips don't look nearly as hard as they do when facing a computer and I'm not sure why that is but they still go in nonetheless so this is why you want to have one timer as your zone ability and this is why I have 88 power on this build so the guy skates into his goalie bumps him goalies off the net I'm hammering that in from back at the line easy goal 88 slap shot power it's super effective on the one timers and taking shots from further away there's a lot of open ice in threes and you'd be dumb to not hit an open guy in the slot so that's why one timer helps us out here because we're able to score on the easy goals when the goal is off the post and has to come across. 88 power also gives us the ability to hit deep one timers and actually be able to score from further away. I would say probably a good 40% of my goals are one timer goals and the rest are just forehand, backhand, forehands and big snipes. So what you're going to see in this next clip is the defensive aspect of this build. So this build can hit, right? You got 68 stick checking, 67 defensive awareness, but 81 body checking. So this is where it comes in handy because you're gonna have a strong heavy four check and you're gonna be able to push over the guys who are the same size as you and a little bit bigger. That should create a lot of offensive opportunities and provide you some good defense in the zone and clearing out the crease. What a lot of people don't realize this year is that a shove can be just as effective as a massive hit along the wall to just make them dislodge the puck. Not everyone's playing with high balance. Not everyone's playing with good puck control. You can just give them a little shove to dislodge the puck. They'll lose it. You pick it up, turn and go. Just like this last clip here. Easy. So what you're going to see in this next clip is the optimal position for a left-handed player to take a one-timer. Here I set myself up just at the top of the circle and I'm aiming to the right side of the ice. 90% of the time that's in if you get a pass from there. Especially with the one-timer zone ability, it just makes it so easy. And we keep that 88 power high on the slapper so that when we're facing human goalies, we can still shoot it past them easy.
cowbell. I'm grabbing it. It's dropped and we are back underway here. Fails to find the open man. Look at the wheels what? Here. Now, only having 72 balance and 70 angst strength, you're not going to be the most sturdy on your feet, but you can take a hit and bounce people off you as long as you're in decent enough position. But your goal is to play fast and to dodge people on the way. If you need to hit them, you can absolutely run them over, but this isn't as strong for hanging on to the puck. But for that, I recommend hitting up the sturdy sniper further down the channel there that'll give you what you need for more balance a little bit slower a little bit more hitting and overall a great experience and a solid build to run people over but this build does the same thing just a little bit faster with a little less puck control and a little bit heavier of a shot so depending on which one you're looking for this build might be for you and to finish off this video let's have a one-timer montage here's a couple quick clips Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't mean you can't score another way, but if a guy's open in the slot, you'd definitely hit him, wouldn't you? I hope this build works for some of you guys and that it's able to help you get your team some wins. Uh, it helps simplify the process, in my opinion. You're able to get open, hit the shots when they're there, and hopefully that can secure the bag for you guys. Anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Drop a follow and a like. Thanks.